Hey guys, so as promised, this is my top five list of things I don't like about my new place. Um, if you haven't seen my top ten list of things I love about my place, um, I will post those up there um, for, you, for you to go check out. Um, but yeah, so let's get started. Um, so obviously no place is ever going to be perfect. Um, I do have a dream house in my head, but even that, there would probably be something I don't like. <laughs> So, um, anyway, my first issue is Emmy's room. Um, this was on my list for things I love, too, because I love having a room for her, but the size is kind of small. Um, I originally was going to take this room, which I'm sitting in right now, um, to be my bedroom and then have the larger room as Emmy's room so she could have more area to play. But to fit a double bed in here means there's, like, no space for anything. Um, even to have an end table and then a double bed the closet doors wouldn't open. <laughs> so it kind of sucks to have it like that. Um, but again, it was not meant to be two adult bedrooms. It's meant to be a child room and an adult room. Um, and things will work out fine for Emmy. I just wish her room was a bit bigger. My second issue is storage. Um, the closets are large. Um, so my bedroom and her bedroom each have a closet, plus I have a front closet. But I don't have, like, a linen closet, um, which I'm pretty minimalist, and I don't have a lot of stuff to begin with, but I just feel like there's no spot for just random stuff. Um, I can't, like, put my towels in a certain room, like, in a closet, because there's no towel closet. There's no closet for where <laughs> Taylor's spinning over there. Um, there's no closet for, like extra blankets or anything like that. Right now I have them in my closet and Emmy's closet. Even my vacuums. I currently, there's a vacuum right there. Right there is my main vacuum because I don't have anywhere to put it because it's a bigger vacuum. Um, I originally bought a small vacuum. It was a whole $20 that has like a handheld vacuum and then like it connects to get like a normal vacuum, uh, like a floor vacuum. Um, but it's not thick enough to do the carpet. So <sighs> anyway. So like that and my mom um, are currently in my front closet, which takes up room. Um, and anyway, I just would like to have a linen closet or some sort of miscellaneous closet that I could put things in. Sorry, I'm gonna knock the camera over. Oh, maybe not. Um, yeah, so like a miscellaneous linen closet, I would have liked. But once I finally finish cleaning out my closet, I'll have more room in there to shove random things. Um, this is kind of a stupid one, but garbage chute. I don't know why. Okay. Back forever, I've always said that when I was growing up, I would live in an apartment that had an elevator and a balcony. That was my definition of being an adult, was living in a place with a balcony and an elevator. Um, I've lived in places with elevators. I've lived in places with balconies. I have not lived in a place with an elevator and a balcony. This is my first time. Then, finding out, oh, I'm in a building, I was like, yes, garbage chute. I don't know why that, that became a priority, other than I didn't want to lug my garbage downstairs. We don't have a garbage chute. I don't know why we don't have a garbage chute, but we don't. Maybe because it is probably messy and gross to clean. I don't know. We don't have a garbage chute. So it's not really a huge deal. I just feel like now I don't take out my garbage very much because... I hate looking downstairs, but I don't really have a garbage bin that's big enough for a load of garbage. So I end up having to take out my garbage more than I want to, and I don't want to go outside to do it. Anyway, I just wish we had a garbage chute. Um, baseboard heaters. Ugh. For the people that don't know what baseboard heaters are, there's these stupid things that go along the wall that heat the room. <laughs> they, I hate them. I hate them. This is like my third place with them. Um, my first, nope, fourth place with them. My first place you had to actually manually crank on each, on each one to the temperature, like, you had to turn it on to the temperature you wanted. That was a pain in the butt because, like, one was under my desk, so I had to, like, climb under the desk to turn it on, and anyway, and then if it got too hot, so that was a pain in the butt. The other apartments I've had have just been, like, a normal thermostat. Um, this one is heated by water. I don't pay for it, so that's a plus. But the problem is, is you can't really put stuff in front of it. Um, it's not so much of a fire hazard with the water boiler one. It's more of, you can't put things in front of it because now you've obstructed the airflow. So you're not going to get heat. So it's really, um, 
ruined my plans for where to put stuff because I would put things in different spots if I could. Just I can't because of the baseboard heaters. And stuff like in Emmy's room, I want things anchored to the wall that are possible hazards such as dressers and whatnot. Can't put things on the wall, that wall, that has the baseboard heaters because I can't anchor it because I can't put it close enough to the wall to anchor it. So stuff like that is just frustrating with the baseboard heaters. I'll deal with it because I will, but <laughs> it's just more frustrating than anything to um, have to rearrange my furniture based off the baseboard heaters. So the way I have my living room set up right now is not the way I had it when I did my last tour video. Um, but like the way I have it now I feel like it's going to get more airflow for the heat. Um, like not obstruct it as much. But it's not the way I would put it. I would put it totally different if I didn't have baseboard heaters everywhere. Um, I have apparently have more than five things. The carpet is on the list but the carpet's not a huge deal because I don't like carpet but I also don't really hate it. Especially it's only in the two bedrooms which I feel like it's probably good for Emmy to have a softer spot. Like right now I'm sitting on the floor because my air mattress died. So, so um, it's nice to have something soft to sit on and I'm sure she'll appreciate it too. Um, so I, that's not one. I have them on the list. I'm not counting them as one. <laughs> one, two, three, four, yeah, five. So number five is no air conditioning. Um, I don't think I've ever lived in a place with air conditioning. <laughs> like my parents' house has air conditioning. But I'm trying to think of my own Korea. When I lived in Korea, I had air conditioning. And that's the only place. And that's the only place. Um, which has never been really an issue because I haven't lived in places during summer. Usually I'm at my parents' house for summer. And I don't usually live in places that get warm. Here, however, I live in the desert. It's hot. <laughs> Opening the windows usually helps, but only to a point because people outside smoke or dogs walk by and upset tail up. Or it just smells bad outside some days. <laughs> but it's like so hot sometimes. Like right now I'm sweating. Um, so I do wish that there was air conditioning. I can get like a portable air conditioning unit or fans and stuff like that. My kitchen has like a ceiling fan. Um, maybe eventually I'll do that for the bedrooms. I don't know though. I don't really like ceiling fans. Um, I'm more likely to buy like a portable air conditioning unit. I can't put it in a window unit. Um, that's against the condo rules, but I can get like a portable air conditioner or like a really good fan, like, you know, like the Dyson fans. Um, I'm thinking maybe eventually get one of those for Emmy's room because they're like, I don't know what to call it, bladeless? Is that what they're called? <laughs> the bladeless fans that cool really well. So eventually I might get one of those for Emmy's room just to keep it cool in here without um, having an actual fan fan. So anyway. Those are my top five things that I don't like about here, um, but the good definitely outweighs the bad. <laughs> love it here. Love it. I love that it's permanent. I love that it's mine, and maybe one day I'll be able to buy it. Um, so anyway, that's it for today, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I do videos every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays right now. Thanks for watching, and I shall see you guys later. Bye, guys.